Hello everyone, my uh, name is Willem. Welcome to the first episode of Insectopedia. As you can see, there's a nice uh, herd of elephants swimming. But today, we're going to talk about something much more interesting than elephants. And that is my favorite insect, the dragonfly. Actually, there are lots of species of dragonflies. There are, only, there are more than 160 in South Africa alone. And why I love them so much is because they're such fierce uh, insects. They are, as you can see here, maybe we have two males flying around all the time. They're very territorial. They have their own body of water that they defend with, with their lives. And the, the fact that they're so territorial is also very important for mating purposes because when a female comes in, the male immediately goes to her and tries to mate. And this is uh, quite a uh, complicated process. And once he's done, he, he needs to guard the female for quite a long time because if another male comes in, he sneaks in and uh, he puts his sperm in the female, then his uh, sperm will be the one to fertilize the egg. So it's very important for the uh, male dragonfly to guard the female and then once she lays the eggs she drops them into the water uh, on the surface where the uh, where the nymphs are born so here we have a banded groundling and this is a male which we know for a fact because the female lacks the the banded wings the dark wings and um, you can see now it's sitting here uh, perched that the, that he doesn't fold his wings uh, when he's sitting like this. And why doesn't he do that? Well, it's because he has very strong and powerful wings and they're so big that he can't fold them. And they have these wings because uh, they're very useful for hunting. They can even move them separately so they can sort of fly like a helicopter and uh, pick up little insects. And what's so cool about them is that, uh, about this particular one, the banded groundling, is that it's really easy for us to film and the reason why is because it likes to follow humans or other mammals around because as we walk through the landscape through the grass we obviously flush very small insects and this guy likes to catch those if there's any other insect you'd like us to make a video about please let us know in the comments for now we're going to watch these elephants and hopefully we'll see you soon